Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Friday, the 15th of February 2019. So yesterday we see the pound uh, moving lower. Of course, May lost uh, another vote last night. I didn't have too much of an impact on the pound. Must have uh, been expecting it. Uh, price is trading down to the 76% retracement in the daily and then uh, moving back above this on uh, the overnight market at the moment. So uh, again, uh, finding support at this area. I've been taking out the uh, 128.30, which will remove for the time being. We'll leave the 76% uh, retracement uh, in there. So looking at the detail for yesterday, uh, you can see that uh, we are below the daily pivot. That is the uh, crucial line. Daily pivot uh, price is below bearish, price is above uh, bullish. And the same can be said for the uh, 200 bar moving average as well. Prices are below this. We see some buying coming into the market here. And then we are met uh, with selling, which you can see there, the two red bars. I get some buying pressure here to try and hold the market, but then it's just slammed lower. And then you see the buying pressure return and we get uh, a bounce here to uh, Wednesday's low. We get a 76% retracement here, then the market moves lower. And then uh, we get another bounce, which is also a uh, 76% retracement. I'll just uh, get the tools here for you you'll see uh, uh, the market uh, from this high to this low straight to 76 and uh, find support there and then eventually uh, we take out uh, the low here after the parliament uh, vote that uh, may lost and then prices have been sideways and moving back towards the upside uh, since then let me just uh, put the uh, price is moving back to the upside there. Uh, heading back towards the DP level at the moment. And uh, also the 200 bar moving average will need to be taken out convincingly if prices are to move high. But otherwise there's uh, still some weakness around in this market at the moment. News today. Retail sales from the UK forecast to be uh, slightly higher. Uh, we'll wait and see. Like I say, it's uh, the office for fiddling statistics as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, we'll see what they come up with. And the Dow. Start with the daily. Uh, yesterday, important here, we have some selling around. As I've so maintained, and I will continue to do so, they want this market as high as they can get it. They'll continue with the corporate buybacks because uh, the interest rates are so low, it's easy to borrow money and buy back stocks. And... Uh, yeah, they'll continue to do that. But at the moment, uh, we're struggling to uh, move higher following a close above the 200 bar moving average. So we could see some weakness coming into the market in the short term. Uh, certainly selling around. What's going to be crucial here are two things. I'm just going to remove this so I can rescale the chart to show you. I'll just bring this down a bit. So the first thing that I would be... Uh, looking at here just to test the weaknesses to mark up from this low to this high and put in a 76% retracement which coincidentally happens to be bang on the 200 bar moving average so a very important support level for this market at uh, the 25062 level there so keep this one in mind very important level if not prices are likely to turn around and head back up to this uh, level here 25667 so looking at the detail for the dow yesterday the market sold off in the uh, pre-market session see a big drop here so when we got to the main event even though we had a sell signal we would already uh, be down at this stage uh, 200 points plus and uh, one yeah one 200 points and then we see the market being tested they test the market, they buy back the market, you can see that with the green, and then we're off to the races. And then, of course, we get uh, the usual things. We go from the low here to the high, and we're at the 76% retracement there, 62, 76. Market comes back to this level and then continues higher straight up to the DP and the 200 bar moving average. And when we get to this point, the market trades sideways. 
no surprise there. Also, again, you want to take note of this because where the market started to fall to where it's uh, found support and then draw across, you can see why the market was banging its head uh, at this level as well, 76% retracement. I can draw these in the chart in even in between bars, let alone taking these bigger swings in the market. Uh, very, very valuable tool indeed. And you just learn to see these patterns uh, evolve in the market. And if they're broken, then you wait uh, for the next one to develop. It's uh, as simple as that. And you can roll these down through the um, lower highs and higher lows as well and draw them in. So that's uh, the inner workings of the Dow for yesterday. And then finally, Bitcoin, nothing to do. As you can see there, just a sideways uh, to lower. So nothing happening there at all. Okay, that will uh, do it for this one and for this week. If there is anything to report, I'll let you know. But otherwise, uh, expect uh, the pound to remain sideways unless there's something that comes out today, like May resigning or something like that. And uh, the Dow to hopefully find support, see if they uh, can hold this market and stop the selling that we saw yesterday. Okay, that will do it. Uh, have a great weekend. And as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.